Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series 20th Anniversary Toy Biz Series 1 uh, Marvel Legends Unparalleled Captain America. As Unparalleled Universe Wade was the one to reveal this awesome Captain America figure. Before we get into the video, um, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to ToySnowman.com. Amir, they are an um, online retailer based in Canada. Um, they did get the Captain America figure um, in stock. Link in the video description below for a my referral link, which will give you a 5% off coupon for first time buyers. Um, you just make sure to get the coupon code through your the, the reward section um, on there if you use my referral link. But last I checked, in stock, I know a bunch of people were ordering it based off of my Instagram post. Uh, so if you aren't following me on Instagram, get in there because I will post those links and things like that. Uh, but toysnowman.com, um, I put in the order um, and shipped out extremely fast the track service he shipped out on monday and it was received today friday so crazy crazy fast it's not always going to be like that because if it's coming from canada to the u.s sometimes it takes a little bit longer but man that was crazy fast um and i'm really excited to have it he just looks absolutely amazing um he even threw in a toy snowman sticker for me and this uh, little pin here so that is really cool i really appreciate amir so again my referral link in the video description below when you sign up first time buyers you you get a 5% off coupon code, so make sure to go to your reward section for that. Uh, but looking at the presentation and package here, just like the Iron Man figure that I had reviewed before, which I also did get from ToySnowman.com, um, the card back is awesome. The throwback and homage to the Toy Biz days, looking really cool. The old school Marvel Legends logo here, you can see Captain America, it says 20 years, looking really awesome. Loaded with accessories, more so than Iron Man did, which was a little disappointing for that Iron Man figure. Uh, but for Cap, it is pretty damn awesome. Here we have a look at the figure in that card back there, that reversible card back for the stand. Um, the there's not really a bio, but it talks about the 20 years of Marvel Legends. It says, For 20 years, the Marvel Legends series has brought the iconic characters and storylines of the Marvel Universe to fans worldwide. To celebrate the 2002 Toy Biz debut release, Marvel Legends proudly presents the 20th Anniversary Series 1 featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Toad. We still have not yet to see what Toad is going to look like. Hasbro is really, really waiting on that. But anyway... Here with the Captain America figure, let's get right into it. I'm gonna rip this thing open, which will hurt me a little bit, but it's okay, I have a second one coming that I'll be able to keep on card. So um, let's take a look at the figure out of the package. Okay, so I have the Captain America figure out of the package now. Um, and all jokes aside, being very serious, this is probably the greatest Captain America figure that we have gotten so far in the Marvel Legends series line. Now, I know um, a lot of folks that collected Toy Biz figures still love the face-off Captain America. I am not a Toy Biz guy for a few different reasons. For one, when I started collecting, I made a rule, no Toy Biz figures, because there were a lot more Toy Biz at the time, um, and I just didn't want to get a crazy amount of figures. I would have stuck to Hasbro, um, and that's it. So I don't have the face-off Captain America. I've seen it. It looks cool. Um, but this thing, having it in hand and seeing what Hasbro did with it, holy moly, like I can't, it, it's insane the, the, the paint details that they added to this figure that I didn't know about and, and you wouldn't necessarily appreciate or notice right away. But when you look at it closer, you're like, holy crap, the accessories are freaking awesome. Those, a shield blast effect pieces are are really really damn cool now i know what sucks is the shield itself still has those peg holes in there and we don't have like a full uh regular shield um i've got a bunch of other shields so that's not going to be a problem for me but i still understand um why uh, for a few folks they're not going to be happy with that but with this one you're going to want to display it either like how i'm having it with the shield on his back so you're not going to see it or with those effects on there because it is just so damn nice. And he is packed with accessories. It, it, at the, I, I like the Iron Man figure, and I understood a lot of the complaints why, about the price and how there wasn't a whole lot to the figure in terms of accessories. Um, Captain America is the complete opposite. He is packed in with accessories. We have an unmasked head, just like Iron Man did. We have a shield. We have two effect pieces that attach to the shield, and then an additional three little bullet blast effects that can go into the shield. We have his cowl down 
um, thing, and then two additional sets of interchangeable hands. That is a crazy amount of accessories that Tony Stark just didn't come with. Um, so before we get a look at the figure, I, I am gonna go through the accessories first, and then we'll kind of go from there. So looking at this backdrop piece, we have the double-sided um, stand piece. So this was to kind of replicate, you know, the comic book that would have come with the figure in the Toy Biz days. So that's what we see here, the origin of Captain America. And then the reversible side um, is kind of that tank and that like busted uh, building window that you see there um, in a war-torn area. Um, it, it, a small dial piece came with the Toy Biz one, so we're not we don't get those type, types of things now. And I understand the price is a lot higher. Toy Biz days. It was also 20 years ago. Times have changed, so you know I don't want to get into it like of oh well this price this price there shouldn't be all this and that. I get it. There's a lot of discussion on that already. It's just that we don't get those things now. So it wouldn't, you know, you can't really expect those things to happen. We get a reversible card that fits into a stand, which, you know what, is is cool with me. The dial piece, I probably wouldn't do anything with it anyway. It's going to take up a lot of space, that type of thing. Um, we get a stand here, which is the throwback Marvel Legends uh, logo there. And that's pretty good, just done in black plastic there. It's got two peg holes, so you could uh, stick Captain America's feet right on there. Um, and then now let's take a closer look at these accessories. Okay, so let's first get the shield out of the way. Here is the shield. I love the colors of the shield. It looks really cool. But we got three holes in there. I don't mind it because I think it's going to display nicer um, or best when, you know, ported into Captain America's back there or with these two um, effect pieces. So in the package, this lightning effect piece is actually already attached to the figure. It's done in a translucent blue color and it looks pretty good. It looks like it's got some darker blues, some lighter blues, and I like that. But if you notice in certain areas, you got these pegs here. So those pegs will go into the certain ones. And you can see that these three are all a different shape. So these it can only peg in one particular way. And let's see if I can figure this out on my first try. So that one's gonna go there, that one's gonna port in there, and that one's gonna port in there. So you have this electric effect as it gets onto the shield, completely covers up those holes, and that just looks really damn cool. The possibilities that you're gonna have in terms of display or figure photography are insane with this. But here is the first one. Now let's take a look at this other one. And you just pull this off. You don't want to try to pull it off too crazy. You might rip the plastic or something, so be careful with that. And now we have this like blast effect here. It's done in a yellow translucent um, plastic. And then you actually get some white paint actually added on top of that. So that is really cool. And again, it's only going to be able to go in a certain way. So let's do the round curvature of the shield and see if that's going to fit and match. And bam! So there. You can have like um, somebody's attacking, hit, hitting his shield, and it's just kind of sparking and doing that. So that is another really cool option there. And again, you could just pull that right on off. And then next is these individual blast effect pieces and here or like bullets, uh, bullet effect pieces. So they're all done in a yellow translucent plastic with a little bit of white paint added on there. So this one is like a funky shape, which it should go here. So as you can see, it's like bounce. He's getting shot at, and it's just bouncing right off the shield. This one is looks like a rectangle. Uh, it doesn't really go there. Does it fit in this one? Not really. Hold on a second. Yeah, see, this one's definitely there. So that one's going to port in right there again. And then these three actually all are shaped a uh, slightly different similar but slightly different so this one's got to port in this way why does this one not want to go in am i doing it wrong there it goes so bam we get those three bullet um, effects there and you can see how they look kind of shooting right off of the shield there that is really really damn cool i love that so the sacrifice of the th those three peg holes in the shield it's perfect when you could do stuff like this this is just so damn cool um, next up in terms of oh and by the way the inside there's no you know no detail in there but it's the dreaded peg hook and um, it's the dreaded peg and hook system those wrist hooks there 
um, those suck, right? They're, they break easily. Be extremely careful and try to get it onto his wrist. Here in this video, I'm probably not even going to do it because I'm scared to break that. I've already done that on one um, shield in a review, so uh, I'm just I'm not going to do it. So be careful with that. There. Uh, next is this cowl piece. So this is really cool. We see this like we've gotten this with like Wolverine, um, where it's like if you're gonna do display the unmasked head with Captain America, you'd put the cowl piece down like he, you know, the 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 mask is part of his suit, so he just pulls it down and it'll be draped over his shoulders like that. It's really cool, and you can see like those little wing pieces there. Um, we have the unmasked Steve Rogers head sculpt, and this looks fantastic. It is done with the photo real print deco on there, and it looks really good. The hair, we get a little, a couple of different colors in there to give it a nice little blonde uh, textured look, so I really like the way that came out looking. As you can see there, but that looks very good. Uh, and then we have additional ha um, hands. So here we have one set of hands where his uh, fingers are all kind of spread out there. So you could use these in a bunch of different ways. You know, if he's like throwing the shield, that type of thing. But if you look closely, let me see if I could darken this up and see maybe you could tell the details a little bit more. I think that helps a little bit. So the, it's not just red gloves. There's a little bit of a wash on here to kind of give some texture detail in some of those, um, in some of the sculpt work, some of the wrinkles and stuff of his hand. That just looks really good. Completely unexpected. I didn't think we were going to have that. And it's throughout the whole figure on his gloves, his boots, and everything that they did that. And that's just really cool. The next set of interchangeable hands, so here we have like his saluting hand here with his um, fingers kind of straight out. And then we have the pointing finger hand for his left, which is really cool. And again, the same thing, we get that wash over the red that just helps bring out the details and give it a more textured look. And it just looks really damn nice. Um, so that's it for the additional accessories. Next, we're going to have to take a look at the figure to see all the cool stuff. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so we're going to keep the video a little dark, so hopefully we can see some of the details on here. Um, and this is really damn cool. The head sculpt looks really damn good. I really like that. Paint is going to kind of be a little, depending on, on kind of how your copy might be. So like right here where the where the mask meets the skin tone, you're going to see some overlap in some areas. I'm sure some are going to be worse than others. So hopefully you get a good one that's not going to be real noticeable. Same when it comes to like his exposed ears on the sides on where the, that blue paint's gonna be. But it looks really good. The A, nice clean white paint. Those wings are a separate piece. It looks like they're glued on there and those look good. His eyes look pretty good, although his eye holes are a little bit smaller, but there is some skin tone around those eyes. And again, we get that, di that photo real digital print on there. That looks really damn good. But in the details of the figure, the paint apps on this guy are insane, like Iron Man, cool. We had um, a little bit of wash in the line work and stuff, but for Captain America, there's so much more detail in the sculpt, and it is all painted, so each one of these scales of the scale mail, it, there's paint on every single one. Like, that's, that's nuts that we got that. That's like, that's crazy. I remember when Wade revealed this and he was talking about it, I'm like, holy hell, like, and you never would have thought that that would happen, especially on the back of the figure, we still get the paint on each individual scale mail armor piece. Like that's crazy. I think the only place we don't get it and on like every single one are gonna be on the upper bicep, but we actually still got it. I, it looks like they may have missed it in some spots, but we still got it. Like that is crazy, look at that detail so nicely done and then here a couple of other things to bring out the details and I, this is kind of like a cell shading I don't know how much you would kind of consider that but look right here in, in his in his torso we get the darker red in those red lines a little bit there throughout here a little bit there even on the back of the figure this is something Hasbro doesn't do. They don't put paint on the back of the figures. And it sucks, but this Captain America, they did. They went all out for this guy, where you're getting every bang for your buck um, possible with Captain America. Iron Man, hindsight, looking at it, we just didn't get enough. But Captain America, man, we got loaded, and it's the same, it's the same amount, same cost. But man, that damn looks good. Um, the belt, those loops, they actually get blue paint on there to match the suit, silver buckle. 
that's there. Good there. Um, I don't know. Help me out with this shoulder torso strap piece thing is. I keep forgetting. I don't know if it's a bandolier or, or whatever it is, but those look really good. Better than that Cap Wolf one where we just got these shoulder pieces that just go on there and don't really stay. I love that it wraps all the way around and you could still have the exposed peg hole there um, to put his shield. If you wanted to remove it, you could. And that, that star logo there is painted and it looks like it's painted well. Here in the front, it's pretty good. The white over the blue. You could still see a little bit of blue kind of bleeding through. It has a little bit of scratch, right? a little bit of a, a scratch right there where that blue is coming through not a big deal at all looking at his legs get the blue there i'm trying to look to see if there's a little bit of wash or something in the blue and it doesn't really look like it but here on the boots if you look at the boots just like in the red of the stripe we get that wash effect in there to bring out some of the details i mean even on the feet you see it in the wrinkles and everything of those boots the added paint that is just crazy something that we never get and i think what this does is it really replicates a lot of what toy biz did so when i look back at toy biz figures um there was a lot of paint detail added to them i i don't not that all of that paint detail was ever important to me in a lot of cases to me, it looks like a figure that kind of has a dirty look to it, or not even dirty, just a not real clean look to it, if that makes sense. Um, so for my preference, I, I didn't, it wasn't really important to me. Um, when they do, when Hasbro does it, because they never do it, but like in this case, when they do it, I think it looks really good. So like on the gloves, you see a little bit of that wash on there, right? See the, the lighter red and the darker reds on there. And this came out nice because it's subtle, but it's there. You know what I mean? And I just really like it. I think it just came out really damn nice. Man, so good. Let's brighten it up a little bit here. See if you can... So looking at, you know, the different colors of the... Oh, it's, well, it's harder to see in the brightness. But man, really, really damn good. Kudos, Hasbro. Wow. Okay, so for Captain America, we're gonna take a look at his articulation. He can look all the way down. He can look all the way up there. That is not a problem whatsoever. Full rotation, of course, and you actually get some nice um, head pivot going on there. The arms, you can get to the shoulders to go straight on out. Perfect, like so. Careful of the hinge. Full rotation in there upper bicep swivel we get double jointed elbow there are pins because this is essentially a repaint of the 80th anniversary captain america the walmart exclusive um so you know unfortunately there's pins but the pins at least are white on white and blue on blue uh, but you get that much bend at the elbow there wrists swivel and they do hinge all hands do have a horizontal hinge no vertical hinge um, on him so there's his arms, the arm to go back down. So we have the torso. So we have his ab crunch. He can crunch forward that much. He can crunch back that much there. There is a waist swivel. You may have to kind of adjust the belt sl down slightly to get the, the, the waist to move. Um, he can do the splits this much. So not a whole lot of motion there. So that's probably where it's most lacking. So you only get them that far apart. He can kick forward very, very high as you can see. So that is great. The leg goes back actually a little slightly. Upper thigh cut on him. Double jointed knee like so. And then you have a swivel, a boot swivel at the top of the boot there. Foot hinges all the way down. You get a little tiny bit of hinge up. Ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Ah, oh, really, really damn good figure. Holy moly, man. Wow. For a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison, what's crazy is that these figures are the same. They're the same figure and they look completely different. So it's just crazy in the different color of plastic how much different the two figures could look. Um, the added, you know, shoulder straps there really sets it off as well. But I love the brighter colors of the blue and the red compared to um, the darker colors, the dark blue, the dark red of this 80th anniversary Captain America. Still a very good figure, um, but man, it doesn't compare to this one. I just love the colors um, of this really old school, classic looking Captain America. Oh man, different head sculpts, but the figures are the same. 
And just, man, if you missed out on this one, and I know a lot of folks have because it was a Walmart exclusive, Entertainment Earth, I think at some point may have gotten it, um, but it was still in pretty limited quantity, so I know it was difficult for folks. So if you missed out on this one, don't even worry about it. Get this Captain America right here. Make sure you pre-order it, order it from wherever. Again, last I saw, toysnowman.com, they had it in stock in Canada. So be aware, it's gonna be a little bit higher in cost and then shipping's gonna be a little bit higher, but it's in stock. Use my referral link, get that 5% off code through the reward section. Uh, but man, what, what an awesome figure. Okay, here is Captain America next to the Iron Man figure. And surprisingly, the Captain America card looks like it's just a hair taller, uh, but they look really good together. Once Hulk comes out, once Toad comes out, displaying all four together I think is gonna look really cool if you choose to do it in this way where you use the display stand and the backdrop. Um, but man, uh, two really good figures, but Captain America is just blowing the Iron Man figure out of the water. Like Iron Man is just complete afterthought once having this Captain America figure in hand. It's just, man, it just doesn't compare. All the, all the paint detail that we got on this guy, why didn't we get more of that in Iron Man? Oh man. But two really good looking figures. I can't wait to add Hulk and Toad. One of these days we're going to get to see what Toad looks like. Um, and I wonder if they're going to go beyond the Series 1. Are, are we going to get more in that card back? I would love to see it, but you guys let me know down in the comments below if you would love to see it too. And which of these two do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so to show you guys the unmasked head sculpt, yeah, that just looks really, really nice. And then they sculpted the cowl portion. It just rests on there, but you could see the curves that they put into it really line up with the actual figure itself. So it lays down nice and flush. Of course, you start moving it around, it's gonna kind of float there and, and get kind of move around. But if you just leave it just like that, it looks really good and it sits down on there quite nicely and again, um, you see those wings, so it's just like he takes the mask, the mask off, um, and there you go, Steve Rogers. Yeah, they they killed it. That looks fantastic. Okay, and there is my figure review. I I, I think I've gushed over this figure um, enough. Um, it, it it's it really is that damn good. Um, I it's. It's insane how good this figure is like I'm like, okay, cool. You know the packaging everything looks great You know, it's another Captain America the 80th anniversary is awesome. This will be too, but man You can't truly appreciate this figure enough until you actually have it in hand and just see how damn cool All the paint apps are on it and how how awesome he looks um, It's 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 quite impressive what Hasbro did with this figure, even it being essentially a repaint, you know, new head sculpts, um, but it's basically a repaint and yet it feels like a completely new figure um, as if it was all new tooling all around. Um, such an awesome one. You guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this figure? Um, man, I, I'm, I think it's a must buy for everyone, whether you keep it on the card or rip that bad boy open and, and display the figure, mess with the figure, take photos, do all kinds of stuff. This is the Captain America figure to not miss. Like, don't buy any other Captain America, but buy this one. This is, at this point, for me, the definitive Captain America comic book figure there is. It is that damn good. Again, big shout out and thank you to ToySnowman.com. Um, I have a referral link in the video description below, which will get you a 5% off coupon for first time buyers. Get that coupon code in your rewards section. Um, but man, Oh man, what a good figure. Hopefully you guys get it. Hopefully ToySnowman.com still has some in stock so you can get an order in. Or, you know, maybe Dorkside, Entertainment Earth, Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, local comic shops. Um, maybe they'll start to get these in. I'm not sure when to kind of expect them. I don't think anyone in the U.S. has gotten a hold of them yet. Everything's been coming from overseas, uh, whether it was Canada, the U.K., or like um, uh, the Philippines, or Singapore, or Taiwan. Um, but such an awesome figure. Hopefully you guys get it. Let me know in the comments below again your, all your thoughts on it. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.